welcome to episode two of the Queer Vegan Kitchen. What are we making today? Bootleg burrito bowls. Bootleg burrito bowls. And the really great thing about this is that if you followed episode one and you have all of these ingredients left from the pizza, you can just stick them into the burrito bowl. Huh. So initially you want like a base, which usually is the tortilla, and in this case it's just going to be rice, and I'm going to be making white rice. But Chase is a princess and he really, really, really likes turmeric rice. So I'm going to be making that. And turmeric rice is usually for curries and as a side dish. Um, so it's going to be a little weird tasting if you go down that path. It's not weird tasting. It's actually amazing. So the first thing that you need to do, like she said, is do the rice. So how do you do rice? Well, if you're making just plain white rice, you have to do, you have to boil water. And it's two cups of water for one cup of rice. So get that going. <laughs> and if you're making turmeric rice, you're going to take uh, two tablespoons of olive oil and let it heat up on the pan first. And when that's heated, you're going to put garlic um, in the oil. We are obsessed with garlic and we're actually tripling, quadrupling the recipe. We're tripling our recipe, yeah. so we're using six tablespoons of olive oil and eight clo cloves of garlic, which is actually excessive. It is, but I like to have it for lunch and for supper and for snacks and yeah. Um, you're gonna have to use a pan like this to cook the turmeric rice. Um, and it's also, the rice and spices are going to go in the pan at the same time, so it's better to mix your spices um, ahead of time. You're gonna cook your garlic until it's nice and fragrant. When it starts to smell really good, that's when you're gonna start getting ready to add your rice and spice. And you're going to start off with um, about half a teaspoon of salt if you're making it for one person. If you're tripling it like we are, then you're going to do two teaspoons. And obviously you're going to adjust the spices as you want it. Um, if you like it really salty, you're going to put more. If you don't, you put less. Um, and I'm sure you could probably just get away with, with like a pinch of salt as well. You're going to put cardamom. Cardamom, I don't know how to say that <coughs> properly. And that's going to be, again, one serving, it's going to be one-fourth of a teaspoon. If it's like us tripling, we're going to put one-fourth. And for the main spice, which is turmeric, you're going to put, again, as much as you want. For our triple, we're going to put uh, one and a half. But if you're doing a single serving, then you're probably going to want to do about three-fourths. Okay, so what you do is you add your rice, and then you add your spices. And you're gonna have to mix it and you're gonna let it kind of toast in the oil and spices. This, you do this for about a minute or two. And while you're doing this, you can measure out um, how much water you're using. After it's been toasting for about a minute or two, you're gonna add your water. And you're gonna follow the same-ish ratio of rice to water, but you might wanna add about half a cup of water extra. So this is about six and a half cups of water and you just pour it in the pan. And you're gonna mix it to let all this to just make sure that everything is combined, and then then you cover it, and you're gonna let it simmer. So you put it on a low heat, and it's gonna stay this way for about 20 minutes, and you're gonna have nice fluffy turmeric rice. Obviously, everybody likes to have different things in their burritos and burrito bowls. So what I'm gonna do right now is just make like a bootleg, really easy salsa, and uh, so we have tomatoes, chopped tomatoes here. This is one tomato chopped up. So if you just want to make a really easy salsa, you just add a little bit of salt and a pinch of lime. And you decide how limey you want it to be. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, or lime squeezy. <laughs> so there you go, salsa done. So the next thing you're gonna do is actually fry up these beautiful creatures. So we have some onions here, which is one onion and one very large, probably genetically modified green pepper. This is one pepper in here, it looks like three. Um, this is vegan on a diet, uh, vegan on a diet, vegan on a budget right now. So we're gonna take the GMOs, fry this up with some oil, just to get it a little crispy, and uh, Zuja's gonna do that. So I'm just the, I'm just like the sexy assistant that just shows you all the food, like this is the food you're gonna eat, these are the beans that you're gonna heat up with the garlic. <sighs> you're gonna saute your onions and peppers together. And you can add any other vegetable that you want in here. It's really up to you. But we're gonna do the traditional um, 
like they do in Chipotle, onions and peppers. Once your oil gets hot, you're just going to dump your onions on there. We cut our onions and peppers into thin strips. Obviously, you can chop it any way that you want, but we did that just for time's sake. If you make it really thin, it'll cook faster. Once they're starting to, starting to get nice and brown, that's when you want to add your peppers. Once your onions and peppers are nice and browned and cooked, you can take them off the heat and that's a good time to start heating up your beans. We're just going to warm up the black beans that we, we're we using ones that came out of the can. Um, and you can use different beans or whatever. Um, and we're going to heat it up with two cloves of garlic. So you put we put the garlic first, let it cook for a few seconds, and then we add in the beans. Now that everything is done, Chase is going to show you how he puts his bowl together. This is what your rice is going to look like. You just fluff it with a fork. Um, and if you're using it for something that's not a burrito bowl, you can add frozen peas to it. Um, the recipe comes from a blog called The Cozy Apron, and if you want to see a side dish that can go with this, you just Google turmeric rice stew, cozy apron, and it'll come up. So you haven't seen my beautiful face in this video in a while. So I'm going to be making my bowl for you, and I like lots of rice, but you know, I'm trying to be like super healthy and shit like that. So let me just put a little bit of rice. So I just put some rice in here, and then I'm just going to, I like to put some beans. So um, this is like the worst spoon ever to put beans in, but I mean, it's like a burrito, right? So you just got to bean it up. <laughs> and in my opinion, you can't really have a burrito without, you know, some awesome... This isn't really hot, that's why I can touch it with my hands. I'm not like Bionic Man over here. You need some onions and some peppers up in this joint, you know? Right? Putting some corn in there. <laughs> just, I'm like all over the place, and I don't usually put um, this stuff, but I made it, so I might as well just, you know, stuff. So this is it, like how easy a burrito bowl this is. It? Like this could take you 20 minutes to make. And the really great thing about this vegan, queer vegan kitchen is that it's super cheap, super easy, and it doesn't take that much time. And I mean, that's that's the point here. Just people need some snacks, especially if you're poor and you're a college student. So uh, let's let's go to the tasting because some of you asked for us to actually taste our food. Why do I always make myself into like the, the worst angles? Hey, we're back. And you've asked us to do a taste test. So Zuzia like, you can show it. Makes no, it it's like, okay. She like scrumbles it all together. I like, you know, I like to have like a bite of, of of something, but you know, it doesn't always have to be all meshed up. So let, let's have a taste test, shall we? It's really hot. This is the worst time to do a taste test when you just did it. Mm. Your rice is so good. <laughs> all right, Queer Vegan Kitchen episode two is done. If you have any recipes you'd like us to do, it's hot, huh? <laughs> or if you just want Zusha in the video and not me, it's probably gonna end up happening. Just let us know. Have a swell day, swell evening. We should have like a like a catch line at the end. What's it called? Like a line? Catchphrase. Catchphrase at the end, though. Come up with one for us. Hashtag the Queer Vegan Kitchen with Chasey Poo and Zusha. Love you.